Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial. So today I'm going to take you through how I painted a Primaris Intercessor in the style of Rainer's Raiders from the game Starcraft, uh, Brood War and Starcraft 2. And uh, I decided to paint this miniature as a gift for Artosis. He's an esports commentator, um, just an amazing guy. Uh, he's been casting for years and he's very entertaining, a lot of fun. I uh, just felt like doing something nice for him, uh, heading into the year 2024, and uh, yeah, so I will be taking you through how I painted the power armor specifically. Uh, it won't uh, include everything else on the miniature, but definitely the power armor, so let's get stuck into it. So over a Chaos Black Undercoat, I'm just going to begin with McCrag Blue, and uh, I've watered this down a little bit, and we're looking at doing two coats of this uh, over the entirety of the power armor. And after having given the McCrag Blue uh, approximately 20 minutes, half an hour to dry, I'm now going to begin shading with Turan Blue or Tyran Blue. I'm pretty sure it's Turan Blue. I'm not really too sure on that one. But anyway, one of the new, uh, well, newer Citadel shades. And um, as you can see, really just going over all of the power armor. Um, just doing one thin coat of this over all of the power armor. So with the Turan Blue now dry, I'm going to begin edge highlighting and stippling highlighting. Um, for this particular scheme, um, I decided to do mostly stippling highlighting. However, there will be a little bit of edge highlighting as well. And uh, we're doing a mix of McCrag Blue and Altdorf Guard Blue. And a 50-50 mix and add a little bit of water uh, to that as well, just to get a nice smooth consistency.
And now onto Alt Off Guard Blue on its own. And essentially just following over the stippling highlights and edge highlighting that we did previously. And as you can see with the uh, edge highlighting, just using the tip of my brush, um, I'm using my size one Raphael 8404 for this. Um, I mentioned in uh, previous videos, it's a really uh, good brand of brushes um, and certainly one of the more affordable in terms of, um, uh, you know, high quality paint brushes. And now using Blue Horror, I'm going to begin by painting the symbol for Rainer's Raiders from StarCraft. And as you can see, not a lot of paint on the tip of the brush at all. Uh, now, I do struggle sometimes to remember the brand uh, of this particular brush that I'm using. I believe it's Wolf Bristle Brushes. Um, I unfortunately threw out the box. Um, uh, so yeah, can't really remember specifically, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I believe it's a size, uh, it's either a double zero or a zero. Uh, but anyway, certainly just um, a, a, a much smaller brush uh, will be handy um, for uh, details such as this, such as, um, you know, chapter symbols and whatnot. 
And as I often mention as well, uh, just ensure that you have an image in front of you of the symbol that you're actually uh, painting, if it is the first time or even the second time, uh, you know, just until you've had a little bit of practice doing it and uh, you can feel more confident in doing it uh, without um, that little bit of help there. Uh, whether or not you uh, paint in front of a computer, for example, or if you just decide to look it up online and just sketch it down yourself, always good to have that reference there.
Now I've just added a, little, added a little bit more water to my blue horror. Uh, as it was starting to dry up a little bit on the palette. And uh, you certainly want the paint to be uh, as thin down as it can be without being overly thinned uh, when you're doing symbols. And now just on the knee pad there, I'm going to be doing the skull. Again, this is based off of artwork that I found of a Terran Marine from the Rainers Raiders um, from StarCraft 2. So yeah, they've got a bunch of uh, cool little uh, features on their armor. And now just doing some subtle edge highlights with the blue horror and a little bit more stippling as well.
And again, just onto some uh, more symbols and uh, some wording as well. So again, uh, in reference to the Rainer's Raiders Marine, um, there's a picture and uh, on his chest of the armor, it says pig. So I'm just gonna be doing that, uh, obviously there being a chest eagle on Space Marine, so I wasn't able to do it there. However, I decided uh, I figured this would be a good spot for it. And again, really just copying exactly uh, the way it's shown in the picture. And just to mention as well, if you need to go back and correct uh, some of these details at any point, I'd recommend just going back to the McCrag Blue and Altdorf Guard Blue mix. And, um, and uh, yeah, just tidying up any of the details, if you need to, of course. Uh, if you're happy with how it looks on the first application, then just leave it as is. And now just adding the 77 again uh, from the same artwork, just on the other uh, leg of the power armor.
And I feel like a broken record at this point, but again, just referencing the artwork, uh, I'm gonna do the Ace of Clubs on the other shoulder pad. So essentially sticking with blue horror here, uh, and we're just looking to get the outline initially, and then uh, we'll be filling in the color uh, in the center. And I decided to use Vallejo Black, uh, as it has a bit more of a matte finish than Abaddon Black by Citadel. So essentially just following this all through the center and uh, just reaching the outline and making it so that the outline is uh, of the blue horror, I should mention, sorry, is, um, you know, sort of quite minimal as opposed to the black in the center. And as I mentioned earlier, again, if you need to go back and uh, thin out the blue horror from the outside, just go back to that Altdorf Guard Blue and McCrag Blue 50-50 mix and uh, just tidy that up a little bit. And here are some photos of the completed miniature. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and Artosis, if you're listening, I hope you like the model men. Um, love your channel, love your casts, and uh, you know, always look forward to uh, seeing some new uploads from you, which of course you deliver every single day, which uh, we're all very grateful for. So thank you everyone. And uh, yeah, I will see you again in the next one.